Hey, what's up, guys? It's ICB Tips here, and I know it's been a while since I made a video. Um, you know, just waiting for school to get out. Fourth quarter is pretty hectic, so getting some free time here and there, and I'll be making some more videos. But once summertime comes, there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out. But uh, right now, I'm gonna show you how to make a. I'm gonna do a Photoshop tutorial on like a pinstripe desktop background, and it's you know mimicking the one that I have up right now, and uh, it's just this kind of black and uh, light gray with some noise that gives it you know some depth so it's not just flat colors and you know here I put my name kinda embossed out in the front so it's it's a pretty cool concept and it's pretty simple and uh, I'll get to it right now so I'm gonna make a new canvas um, 1366 768 that's my screen size and then I'm gonna choose this color as black and then the first step is just paint it paint it um paint the whole thing black right now and then make it the type of gray you want you know like I said it's the one I'm using is a light gray but you can use any color you can do dark green on light green and stuff like that either way you know, it looks pretty good but uh, get your rulers up that's control R to toggle them um, the rulers on and off and uh, I use the rulers a lot and for this you're gonna need it so I'm gonna get like this tool here like the you can the rectangle one would be better and then uh, I'm just gonna start Fifty, and then go down to a hundred, and then go to the next increment, and work your way up fifty on and off for the color that you choose. And you know it's it's real simple. It's not even that time consuming. It it goes by really quick, and um, that will be the pinstripes. You won't get such a black kind of canvas from it, and then. Like I said, you know, you can put a logo on like the screen, or you can do like I did my name, or you know, anything you want really, or just nothing. And um, I always add the noise for like the depth kind of to it, just instead of flat colors. I think that looks a little better. But make make sure your line spacings are even, and uh, it's not hard to do. It's a very simple one. I'm going to be getting some more advanced Photoshop and After Effects tutorials out pretty soon. Especially, you know, when it's summer. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos, probably daily um, Adobe product videos. I have the whole master collection, so I really enjoy working with that, you know, media-wise. And so that's going to be really cool to get a lot of videos out. And, uh, you know, hope I get some more subscribers to the channel. But right now, okay, so now I'm going to, you get these fl flat colors, and it looks okay, but um, you want to, I, I definitely think it looks a lot better. Hang on one sec. If, um, yeah, you have to flatten the whole image. You know, I did that that way, but you can right-click and go to flatten image, and then you go to, whoops, go to the filter, you go to noise, and add noise. It's a, I usually use about seven, seven or eight. Looks pretty good, probably. And um, monochromatic because the color, the color noise doesn't look that good, I think. And then that's you know, pretty much it. It looks really good expanded on your your desktop, you know. And you got this this nice looking background that you can put anything on it, and it pretty much works all around. And you know, here's what the result looks like, and I think it's it's really good. So uh, stay tuned for more Adobe videos and all kinds of other stuff. And don't forget to subscribe.